Okay. Am I starting? Okay. <laughs> you get ready. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Whenever you get ready. Okay. Well, hello, everyone. Good evening and welcome to SMD Viewpoints. These are viewpoints from a single lady's perspective, married lady's perspective, and a divorced lady's perspective, okay? And we're going to have different topics, um, doing different shows um, from a variety of relationship issues, relationship questions. So we would like for you guys to join us. Please share, please click like, tell all your friends about us. Um, I'd like to introduce the three panelists. We have the single lady, Miss Kimberly Sims. We have the married lady, Mrs. Karen Smith Owens, and myself, the divorced lady, Jacqueline White. Um, today's topic, we're gonna to start with today's topic, which is wifely duties. Um, the first Air question, <laughs> sorry. I say air quote, wifely air quote, duties. Air quote, air quote, wifely duties. Okay, so the first question of today's topic is, what do we consider wifely duties? And I will start with Miss Married Lady, Mrs. Karen Smith Owens. What do you consider wifely duties? Well, the traditional wifely duties are the cooking, the cleaning, the taking care of the kids, the taking care of the husband, and being, uh, you know, the mom, the 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 the, the go-to mom, the cab driver, whatever you want to call us, but that's what I consider wifey duties and taking care of the husband, fixing his plate, fixing his meals. But that's traditionally what I think we will consider wifey duties. <laughs> Air quote, wifely duties. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And from the single ladies' perspective, Miss Kimberly Sims. Hi, from the single ladies perspective, I would say it was all that Karen said along with, to me, what naturally a woman does to take care of her man, her family, her things, things that come naturally. There, have, there are things that you do that have to be done and then there are things that you do naturally, um, like for me is cooking. So things that come naturally uh, and things that are traditional. That's what I would consider wife duty. Okay, okay. And I, we like how you said the, you know, things that come naturally. Yeah, um, that's a good point, good point. Yeah, yeah, we like that. Yep. And I'm sorry, go ahead, Miss Karen. Yep, because some women love to clean. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's not me, though. <laughs> That's not you. I like you clean, but I don't like to be the one to do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And my perspective as the divorce lady is everything that you two mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, also, uh, Kimberly and I talked about this the other day um, as far as letting your mate know when you're going somewhere when you're out and about, if you're gonna spend time with your girlfriends or anything like that, I also consider that to be a wifely duty. You're letting them know, hey, I'm gonna hang out for a little bit or I'm gonna take a trip with my girlfriends. Um, mm -hmm. As a mm -hmm. single lady, no, I'm, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. But if I'm going to be with uh, a person and I consider myself doing wifely duties, I'm gonna let them know, hey, mm -hmm. you know, next weekend I'm going here or Tomorrow I'm going here with my girlfriends. And um, hopefully, you know, here respect that. So that's what, you know, like I said, the cooking, the cleaning, the laundry, you know, the grocery shopping, all of that, the fixing his plate, that's what I consider life to do. Okay. So you kind of mean like reporting, like I you reporting and I'm telling you, you know, and it almost might be in the form of a question versus i'm telling you you know it's like in a form of a in a form of a question when it's a wifely duty like you know uh you know i'm gonna hang out with my girls next week right <laughs> <laughs> so you know it could be more of a question than it is just telling them you know so they feel like they're um agreeing or that it's a it's it's something that's agreed upon between the two of you doing that thing separate from one another. 
Well, as me being a married woman, no, it's not in the form of question. It's always, this is what I'm getting ready to do. I'm mm -hmm. letting you know I'm getting ready to do this. Right. I'm letting you know. Just because um, I still, um, even early on, and definitely now that I'm older and the kids are, the children are, are, are young adults now. No, it's just like, I'm, finna, I'm here, I'm there. Sometimes you don't even get the, the, the before, but before I was like, I, I spoke to him and told him, this is what I'm getting ready to do. This is the plan, but I never had a question. It was, never was a question. Mm -hmm. Can you? Nah, that was, that was too much. I still have to be an individual. And I'm a social butterfly, so he's not as socially as I am. Okay. I love to be, be with people. So there's a difference. So it's the opposite of track. He can mm -hmm. stay home and watch a movie all day air day but i'm like mm -mm, let's get out and see what's going on so mm -hmm. so yeah it never had been a question of still addressing so that's called communication letting them mm -hmm. know this is right. they're doing this is what getting ready to happen no but yeah definitely now as we get older it's me oh i, I didn't tell you or i forgot to tell you and because he worked different schedules with me so and we don't right. have the kids to worry about anymore i'm about almost an empty nester so Right, right. That's true. You are. Yeah, almost, almost there. Almost there. Look, me too. <laughs> <laughs> well, Karen, I like how you said that you are still an individual. You still have your individual um, goals. You still have your individual lives. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah, I like how you, how you how you worded that. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Okay, are we ready for our next question? Yeah. Um, wifely, wifely duties do you do you feel that performing so-called wifely duties will get you to the altar quicker and let's start it out with miss karen i if you're not married no i don't think that that will that's just too much pressure on me and, and on him and mm -hmm. and i don't think it's fair it still goes back to being that individual less mm -hmm. if, if you want me less less don't expect this but it goes back to Kim saying naturally, if I'm naturally a cooker, if I'm naturally a cleaner, I naturally don't mind doing your laundry. Okay, but as, will it get it quicker? No, it ought, no, that's another conversation mm -hmm. that you have to have. You have to set boundaries. That's what I said, right. you have to set boundaries. I'm not, mm -hmm. and, uh, and luckily I didn't have to, I didn't do the shack, you know, living together, what have you. When I went in, it was like, I'm all in, but I had already set my boundaries. This is how it's going to be. I'm not, I'm not um, shacking up. And I had my boundaries set as marriage or anything. So I'm not giving you all those French benefits, you know. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And the single ladies perspective, Miss Kim. No, yeah, no, it doesn't <laughs> make anything go quicker. It, and it might not even happen. Uh, and a lot of times it does. So, um, like I said, you do things naturally. I have shacked. Uh, that's something that I will probably never do again. Because to me, I feel like you play a house. Okay. And when you live together, and there are stages. So you start off. You know, you got this stage where you just meet and everybody is on their best behavior mm. for the first three to six months in the first place. Everybody mm -hmm. trying to dot their eyes, cross their T's, they saying please and thank you and they opening doors and you, you know, you getting dressed every day and he can't see you without your makeup. And, you know, you got all that going on in your, you know, when you first meet. <laughs> then you start dating. And then when you start dating, you start to, okay, well, <laughs> He gonna have to see me in this bunny someday. Today a good day, you know. So <laughs> we go. So you got all these stages that you go through. So once you get to living together before marriage, to me, okay, you you might be doing too much at this point to me. And I have lived with someone because now I'm doing everything that a wife would do because you're in my vicinity all the time. You know, now besides except for when you go on to work and I'm going to work and we out, you know, doing something separate, but we're in the same vicinity, we're in the same household. So now if I cook, I I'm not gonna just cook for me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cook for you too. If we're not living together, then I can just cook for me. 
you can cook for you. And then when I want to, I can cook for you and cook for us. But if you're living in the same household, you can't do that. You're not going to just cook for you. You're not going to just wash your clothes. You're going to wash his clothes too. Now I draw the line at ironing because I don't like to iron my own clothes. So I ain't ironing yours or mine. <laughs> now I take them to the cleaners <laughs> and pick them up, but that's that. So when you start to do all of these things because you've moved in all these stages and you're doing what married people do, but not married, it's almost like, what was that saying you said about the cow and free? <laughs> getting the get, uh, buying the cow when you get the milk for free exactly so that to me that's kind of what that is because you putting in all this work because you live together and then it may not even come to fruition for whatever reason it doesn't have to be that he didn't ask it could be you just found out hell i don't even like living with you so i know i don't want to get married mm -hmm. so now you've wasted this time to me mm -hmm. that you could have did other things and found another way so yeah, no. So to answer the question, no, I don't think it helps. <laughs> get there any faster. Did you say to answer the question. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm getting around back to the question. Okay. Um, my take on that as a divorced woman, I, I've done the the shacking up, and we lived together for two years before we got married. And I will say that we got married out of you know for love, but it was also because we started creating bills together. You know, we um, purchased a car together. So once we started creating those bills and I started um, doing other wifely duties and everything, it, it just made sense to get married. Mm -hmm. Even though I do know that we got married for love, it just made sense, you know, to get married. Mm -hmm. And um, do I believe that it got us to the altar quicker? I believe it did because of the bills you know, um, would I do it again, thinking that it's going to get me to the altar quicker? Well, that's going to go from saying, am I ready to get married again? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. you know, I, mm -hmm. I'm really not sure. Do I want to go through the whole, you know, cooking and cleaning, you know, if I'm living with someone, I, don't, I can't even say that I'm going to be living with someone, you know, again. Um, dating, right now, I want to date for a purpose. Okay. I don't want to date that's just good. to date. Yeah, yeah. That's all I don't I want to. Yep, that's good. Yeah, I want to. I want to date with a purpose. Mm -hmm. Now, if it takes, you know, as a woman, we want to show off our skills. We want to show off that we know how to cook. We want to show off that we can keep a clean home. Mm -hmm. You know, is that still part of wifely duties? Mm, it can be. Mm -hmm. It can be. So I guess it just depends on where I want to go with this next relationship, you know, sort of say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's kind of my um, take on take, that. Yeah, take on that. Yeah, and that's good. And, and the older we get, we have to set those boundaries. Like I said, mm -hmm. nope, I didn't chat, but I wanted to be married. And I knew that point. And if you weren't here for marriage, I didn't have to give you two, three, four, five years to figure this thing out. No, I'm getting older. I wanted to have babies. I had babies when I was older. So I'm like, I ain't got, we ain't got to wait all, 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 all five, six years. We need to know this. So yeah, that's good. Set boundaries. Yeah, setting boundaries. You gotta set boundaries. Mm -hmm. Now with that, I have a question in regards to that. Do you believe that men know automatically within, I've heard the phrase that men know after like six or seven months, if you are the woman that they want to marry. Do you guys believe that? I do. I do. You do. I, I, I do. I think when you meet somebody, and for men, I think they know just about when they meet somebody a couple of months into the relationship if mm -hmm. that's the type of woman they would want to marry. Now, not, does that necessarily mean they end up doing it? No, but they, I, I think they know that's at least the type of woman that they would like to marry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a okay. good question. I, 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 that's a good, I, I think they know. Mm -hmm. They know it all, but it all depends on, like you said, what is your purpose? Mm -hmm. what I, so when I made the decision that it was time 
that I need to be married. I'm like, what are your intentions? Mm-hmm. What are your intentions with me? What do you expect? So I was making those, those, um, you know, that's how I was feeling about my life because it's my life now. What are your mm-hmm. intentions? I done played around. I don't travel. I don't do anything. I was time for me to settle down. So what are your intentions with me as a, how, how is this going to go? Would this lead to marriage? If this is what's going on? And my husband was the only one that took me up on that previously. No, nah, this ain't it. I ain't feeling married. Right. Okay, that's fine. Well, that's fine. it was fun. Move on. But I have a goal. So I had to still stick to my goals and mm-hmm. what I wanted. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. And Karen, do you, if you don't mind me asking, how long have you two been married? Uh, 23 years. We are in our Michael Jordan year. Going on 24. Congratulations. (laughs) Yep. Congratulations. Uh, I was in the wedding. In the wedding. She was in the wedding. I was in the wedding 23 years ago. That's about as long as somebody had last. Okay. Yeah, we're going up on 24. Thanks for asking. But yep, it's coming up soon. Yeah. Congratulations. That is a true blessing. That is a true mm-hmm. blessing. That's a true blessing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, um, we have another question about wifely duties. Now, if we're going to be performing wifely duties, if that's what you choose to do, would you expect the man to perform husband duties as far as the lawn care, the taking care of the cars, the paying the majority of the bills? Mm-hmm. Um mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Pretty much. Pretty yep. much. I'm not doing a lot of work. Not not doing it at all. <laughs> right. Not doing right. it at all. Now right. I have to admit, y'all, I, yeah, I've been married 24 years, but then we each had to grow on this thing because mm-hmm. I was very independent and I started off being very independent. This need to be done, that need to be done, that and then after a while and the kids came in, then I realized, wait a minute, I'm doing both the duties, wifely and husband. And it was okay. And we both learned this thing out. So I had to step back and we had to have communication Mm -hmm. and talk back. I'm not doing this no more. I'm not doing that anymore. I need help here. I'm not, and I'm not doing that anymore. So now it, it, we really have a, oh, I never did the long work. I wasn't doing that at all. I Mm -hmm. I ain't doing the long work. I did that because I had a single mom and I like to be outside. Then now I don't care to be outside. I cut no grass. That's Mm -hmm. over with. And I don't mind taking out the garbage now because I want everything out of my house. If you miss taking it out, I want to make sure it's gone. So I don't mm-hmm. really have no, no things. But there are certain things that now I'm like, nope, that's your role. I overstepped my boundary. And that was because um, I had, was independent when we first got married. And, I, and I'm older than my husband. So I felt that I should, that he was still learning. But then... Mm, at the while in the thing like, uh-uh, we all learning this. I'm gonna go back to what my role is. Now, I'm not great at my wifey duty. Some, some, some weeks, some days, some weeks, some months. Right. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> you know, I still expect him to do some some things like like get my car fixed, make sure it's changed. You know, mm-hmm. I do need gas, and yep, I did run all the gas out. So yeah, sorry. <laughs> but now I have children, so you know you make them do those things now. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. right. Um, I would say that yes, because I'm not getting my nails dirty trying to look at somebody, look at my car. I'm not uh, busting a sweat <laughs> trying to pull the line. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I, I'm so fond of saying I'm too cute for that. Oh, so I'm. Good. Good. I'm not, I'm not gonna do all that i'm not gonna so if i'm gonna be in the house cooking and cleaning you know, you know as my dear says tyler paris cooking and cleaning if i'm be doing all of that then no you can get out there and you can you know mow the lawn shovel the snow whatever rake the leaves whatever you got to do and honestly pay the majority of the bills mm-hmm. yeah. pay the majority of the bills right yeah. you know so that's just, you know, my mother and, and father, they were married for a few years and I saw my mother, my mother did not work. Mm-hmm. She didn't, my dad worked at the steel mill, mm-hmm. um, made quite a bit of money. And my mother, she stayed at home, she cooked, she cleaned, she t- took care of me, took care of the dog, you know, and everything. She didn't have to do 
anything. She didn't have to pay any bills because of course she didn't work. Mm -hmm. So in growing up that way, that's how I feel. But mm -hmm. in this day and age, you have to have a two income household. I get that. I understand that. Right. But I still believe that the male should be paying the majority of the bills and doing the manly work. Yeah. Well, I, even though we say in this day and age, but I truly wish, and what I would tell my children is, okay, you have a two, um, a two income home, sick with living off of one income. Let's just get mm -hmm. one and then do it and everything else with the other one. Mm -hmm. That is my advice to anybody. Let's mm -hmm. just stick to this one income, let's live within these means, and then that other means we can do everything else we want to do, you know. Right, exactly. That's what I truly nice. believe, man. Yeah. yeah. Even though That's I would good. love to come home and just sit and clean and do everything else, but as long as I was working, that was tiring. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I had to work, so to help right. maintain what we have. But my advice now would be for anybody, you know, if we can live off of one income, mm -hmm. let's mm -hmm. and let's bank and play with the other one. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's very good. That's good. Mm -hmm. right. That's my advice to anybody now. Don't, mm -hmm. don't, don't factor in now that we're together. Now we can go buy this mansion house. Mm -mm. <laughs> stick, to, stick to the house that can be with one budget. But that's what I'm telling my kids. Right. Yeah. My mm -hmm. children. Yep. Stick with one income. Have two income, but stick with one. Right. Yeah. Okay. And Kim, what are you? Well, okay. So <laughs> I'm a hard worker. Mm hmm. And you can't be with me if you ain't. <laughs> so, saying that, yeah, you're going to have to do your part mm -hmm. at all levels. Because if I'm out here grinding, you're going to have to grind too. Mm -hmm. So, if I'm grinding and then I come home and I cook and I wash the dishes and I keep the house clean, then when you come home, you can get outside and you're going to make sure that lawn is done. But that's if we're living together. That's right. I, you know, I, I, I don't want to live with nobody again. <laughs> I'm waiting on my son. To leave. <laughs> I don't want to live with nobody again. But even as just a couple, I don't expect for you to come to my house and see my grass knee high, and you just let my grass stay right. knee high. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like. If I come to your house, now I ain't finna do no whole lot of cleaning and stuff at your house, but I'll come, I'll bring food, I'll cook, because I love to cook. So I'll come and, I, and I'll clean up my mess, you know. But when you come here, okay, you see the lawn need cut, cut the lawn. I believe it's just a, you know, it's kind of a give and take thing with me. You know, I do mm -hmm. on my favorite mm -hmm. saying, because it's in the Bible, do mm -hmm. on to others as you would have them do on to you. So mm -hmm. don't come here not wanting to do nothing, but then want me to do something for you all the time. You know, it don't, it don't work like that. So let's work together. And like you said, uh, Karen, a lot of it has to do with communication and boundaries. You have to set those boundaries immediately mm -hmm. from, from get-go in a relationship. Even when you meet them, people approach you on how they think you want to be treated until you show them how you want to be treated exactly so yeah no i believe that everybody has it even at just as couples even if you don't live together everybody's got it, whether they're wifely dudes duties hubs and duty boyfriend duties girlfriend duties everybody got duties mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. regardless everybody got them. so when you're in a relationship just make it work best for you and realize that that you have to you have to do and they have to do too so Everybody got to work. Yeah. Good. Okay. And as you brought up the Bible, you know, um, that is what's sustaining us. That's what's helping us stay this 24, this 24 years, because that's right. not us. We have to honor the man right. who was at our, mm -hmm. the, the Heavenly Father who was at our wedding, <laughs> who, right. who um, set right. it up, but that's the other thing that keeps us going. Like, okay, and then in the Bible, the wife is to respect her husband. And that's exactly what I'm learning to do better because, you know, in those early stages of um, marriage, you know, hey, I was a boss. 
uh, for 30 some years. I was my mm-hmm. boss. Like, it was right. Me. Exactly. I had exactly. to incorporate, but yeah. Right. You know, one of the things the Bible does say is respect. So, uh, and, mm-hmm. and that's respect all around for, right. for the men. So, that, that is something else, you know, that, that, that I hold dear to us that he keeps us and guides us. But I do respect him and do. But we do have these goals that I expect from him, and he should be supportive and take care of me, you know. I'm still right. waiting to just sit around and not do anything, just cook clean and, and you know. <laughs> and be that kind of wife. That, right? that ain't happening. A housewife. That's a housewife. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, what I wanna, that's what I want to be. Not, now I want to do that. Now right. Now you want to be a housewife. Right. Right. Now I want to do that. Right. It's not happening yet. But, but yeah, now I want to do that. But we keep praying the Lord will make, make a way. The Lord will make a way one day. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. Okay, ladies, we don't have long. Okay, um, so should we go with the fourth question or should we kind of wrap it up a little bit? Mm-hmm. I think we got enough for the fourth question. So, no, you think we have enough? Yeah, we got enough time. We got enough time. Okay, well, the fourth question and final question basically is um, if you are in a relationship or anything like that, how long um, should you continue to do these wifely duties? Um, before you give up, if marriage is your ultimate goal? I'll start with that one. Um, if you don't shake. Right. If okay. you don't shake and you are just a couple, I won't say just a couple, but a couple, I think you would know within... I would say six months to about a year and a half. If you're not shacking. If you're shacking, you ought to got you should have got married before you started shacking. That's just I I'm yeah, sorry. I, I I I've done it. I'm not knocking anybody that's doing it. I've done it. And you know, I've done it two and a half times. <laughs> that half a time really could have not happened. <laughs> but, but, yeah, that half half a time. <laughs> yeah, that half a time could have not happened at all. But um, yeah, so I just, you know, I, I, I'm just, I'm against it personally and nothing against nobody else. This is just how I feel. Mm-hmm. Um, so I feel like if, you know, you're not living together, it does take time to get to know someone. I think anywhere between six months to about a year and a half is a good time for someone to have made their mind up or, you know, for you all to feel like, you know, okay, this is my wife, this is my husband in that in a, in that time frame that's what i think okay okay karen yep and i think so too it, it, it was a couple of years um that i when i um went through the courtship to say hey is he is he here in prayer the lord mm-hmm. showed me that he was so that that's a whole another topic so yeah, mm-hmm. but it, it was a couple of years and then it was a, i had to okay you said he is but i need to make sure that he, he can do all these other things, do the wife, do the manly duties. Can he pay mm-hmm. bills? Can be he the man of the household? Place? Can he mm-hmm. be the man of his household? So that, yeah, he definitely proves his stuff. So, so it was a couple of years, but yeah, I think it, it should be, you should know. And then once you decide that, once you two decide, then you just watch the signs like, okay, I'm not hanging around here forever. Are we right. going to do this? You have to have that conversation. Once right, 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 right. What is the purpose of us being here? I started off before we even got to the point of marriage. This is what I'm looking for. If you're not here to be my husband, you can step. And and I approached many people like that. He decided mm-hmm. to stay. So <laughs> that was it. And that was me having the, the bold conversation. Nope, I'm not here to, to be anybody's girlfriend forever and ever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, these is what my, I set my mind to do that. This is what this is what my goal is. My goal is married. Where are you at? <laughs> yeah. 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 I I know when I got married, we dated for about a year and a half, and we we dated for about six months, and then he moved in, and then we dated. Well, we stayed together for a while, and after about two years, I started to get that. Okay, what are we gonna do? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, what are we gonna do? So I feel like you know, two years tops. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, what, okay what are we going to do now I mean are we going to continue down this path or you know we're going to make it official 
right. Good, 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 good. Yeah, so for me, that's that's how I, you know, I can tell, you know, I get antsy. Because <laughs> right. well, yeah, I, you know, you I got 730 me. days out of your life. Right. That's two <laughs> years and 730 days. That's a lot of days. We need that's, a lot of days. that's a lot of days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yep, it is, it is, it is what it is. Right. So, well, Ladies, this was a great first topic. I think we got a lot of things um, accomplished. We got a lot of questions answered. I'm hoping our viewers um, will like and share this video. And if they have any questions, they can inbox any one of us for the next topic or a future topic. Mm -hmm. Um, And this is coming from SMD Viewpoints, perspectives from a single lady, Ms. Kimberly Sims, a married, beautiful lady, Mrs. Karen Smith-Owens, and of course, myself, the divorcee, Mm -hmm. Ms. Jocelyn White. And again, we hope you like, please share, share, share this video and tell a friend, show a friend. If you're on YouTube, subscribe. Right. Thank you. Thank you. That's why I messes with you. Right. That's right. <laughs> subscribe. Right. <laughs> That's the word. That's the word. Yeah. So any of any parting words from any of you ladies before we sign out? Mm-mm. Nope. This was good. Be back for episode two. Episode two. Coming soon. <laughs> SMD viewpoints. All right, is that it? <laughs> uh, uh, okay, okay. I'm trying to stop stop the